perfect time to catch up with a celebrity chef, someone that knows food pretty well. It's always fun to root for the underdog, and that's why the Food Network has seen so much success with its hit show, Restaurant Impossible. Last week, the show's dynamic host, celebrity chef Robert Irvine, visited the Delaware North here in Buffalo to speak about or to speak to their annual Food and Beverage Summit at the Convention Center. I spoke with Chef Irvine exclusively about how he has made revamping struggling restaurants into must-see reality TV. You could call him the Simon Cowell of the restaurant industry. You have got to be kidding me. Wakey, wakey! But Chef Robert Irvine says he doesn't always act like the guy you see on his Food Network show, Restaurant Impossible. Fans of the show, what's the first thing to oh, ask? Oh, why are you so mean? Really? <laughs> why, why are you so mean? And I say, I'm not mean, I'm a really nice guy. What is this? What does it feel like to be demeaned? To many, Chef Irvine is more like a hero. He swoops into failing restaurants and gets to work, turning them around in a matter of 36 hours and a $10,000 budget to work with. One thing I always want to do is make sure that when we produce programming, uh, that it's real. I don't want people to be given scripts, um, which they're not. I get there, they turn the camera on, and we film. It can all make for a high-pressure situation, even for this military-trained chef. When Irvine's in town, things are bound to get intense. I make no apologies for being tough, but when you have 36 hours to fix uh, families, livelihoods, businesses, um, and sometimes stops stop houses being repossessed or businesses being repossessed and when you see the kids that have been caught up in that mess they don't choose to be in that restaurant business uh, it's just their mom and dad are caught up in that for these families chef Irvine winds up playing counselor as well as consultant I truly get vested in in these people you know um, I feel their pain but I don't have time to to deal with their pain because I got to fix their life and again I only have 36 hours from the moment I get in to the moment I leave uh, to fix them problems. So I need to know the truth, I need to know it quickly so I can get a game plan to fix it. A family man himself, Robert is a father of two daughters. And if you think he's in shape, just wait till you meet his wife, pro wrestler Gail King. Gail is the love of my life and she, uh, she, she works out a lot more than me. But, um, you know, eating in, in moderation is good and, and uh, you know, I eat everything, I drink beer, it's okay. Um, I just don't go crazy. Uh, I work out every day. His diet may not be too crazy, but his work life is getting there. Irvine just launched a second reality show. Restaurant Impossible um, rebuilds restaurants, lives, and, and homes, and gives hope for the future. Restaurant Express is where we give dreams. We make dreams come true. And the person who wins this will have the job of a lifetime. Ask Chef Irvine and he'll probably tell you he already has the job of a lifetime. This restaurant guru clearly gets his own high from pushing others towards their goals. To be successful in any business, not just the restaurant business, the first thing I would say is you have to have passion. You have passion for people and passion for what you do. We learn every day from other people, no matter whether a dishwasher or, a, you know, or your boss. You learn something every day. and. and Taking what you learn and helping others along that way is what makes you successful. I truly believe that.